quick announcement. I've been working behind the scenes for the past few months around a course called Finding Stillness. Finding Stillness is about helping you to create that space in your life, to create deeper connection primarily with yourself, but then as a result with the people around you. It has to do with cultivating more self-love, more understanding, more acceptance towards yourself, your thoughts, your emotions. Finding stillness is something that I personally find it very important and crucial. If you're interested, go to my website, insidetreasures.com, and look for the course Finding Stillness. Finding stillness is about pressing pause in life, about you finding the time and the space and cultivating that and create that in order for you to experience a moment of bliss which you get to create a moment of space a moment for you where you can sit back and actually see your life for what it is it's about presencing yourself and what is going on every single day in every single moment that doesn't mean this is what you will do because in a way that can also sound tedious, but it's about improving the quality of your life by presencing yourself more and more and more. And there's so much abundance of gifts that comes as a result of you being able to do that. So if you're interested, go to insidetreasures.com, look for finding stillness, and I will see you at the course. Thank you, my friend. One thing that really has helped me personally navigate through life is in the darkest moments to actually find the gems, to find the things that they're there. As the world is marrying you and as I'm moving, evolving, changing and healing and growing in life, I want to be able to recognize the things that are there, the things that life is trying to teach me. Welcome, my friend, to another episode from Inside Treasures. My name is Fibus and I love to challenge myself and those around me for the purpose of growth. I am here to help you heal, change and grow. And I know it's a stance and I know you could say, oh, you're just making it up. But what I've noticed is like, even if that's the case, and even if it is so, we're basically taking charge of the meaning that we try to create around things. And when we do that, we have a different stance, we have a different attitude, and we perceive the world in a different way. So keep that in mind. But no matter where you are in life, no matter where the world is bearing back to you, no matter what is going on, there's always a gem to find. Look for that gem. And that usually leads you out of that darkness, or out of this dark phase in your life, into a more bright place. Because you find that gem as you move along, you create that path in your life. The reason why I'm sharing this story right now is because through myself and seeing the things how they roll out they were things that i was saying that i wanted to do and i thought yeah i'm moving towards that direction and there was action i was taking towards those specific places but at the same time things were not really working out and then what i start to notice is how much devoted i was how much committed was i to these things and it was one thing like setting goals for example, has been very clear for me. It's like, yeah, I can sit there, I can dream about it, I can create them. But then taking action was a different, different thing. The message that I want you to take from this video is that your actions will speak louder than your words. You might say things, but if they're not being followed through with your action, they say a lot more. We know that, you know, lead by example. With our kids, we can see that. It's like, it's not what you say, it's actually what you do right they kind of attract that we honor certain values they can get it through osmosis they they absorb that they absorb the way to behave so if i say be polite and then i go to the restaurant and i'm being rude my kids will pick that up and they also pick up the incongruency the inconsistency the hypocrisy and they also become copies of us right in a way they have their own personality but they pick things from us and that way our actions speak louder than our words so it's great to say things that we want to do. It's great to share great ideas. But it's also learning how to align ourselves to that. And again, it's as a reflection. It's as a means of reflection. If I say, for example, oh, I want to lose some weight. Okay, it's a great idea. And I say, I'm going to be running. I'm going to be eating well. Blah, 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 blah. 
But then when it comes to it on my day to day, or perhaps do it for one day and then I stop, or I do it on and off, on and off, and this happens, that happens. My words are communicating to me that I'm out of alignment. The goal, the direction, the target, whatever you want to call it, the outcome that we're looking for, the space, the change that we want to create from where we are to where we want to be, right? This new level of being, this new reality that we're trying to create. The more aligned we are with that, of course, the more that will happen. And not always will always work the way that we expected, for sure. But look at it this way. If I'm saying all these things and I'm deluding myself that, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, of, of course, I've been, I, I've been on track. But then if I look at my actions and they've been completely different, completely irrelevant to what is going on, then that is a clear indication that actually what I'm saying is completely different with what I'm doing. And what I'm doing has a lot more power and gravity and gravitas to what I'm saying. What I'm saying can lead me into the doing, can help me set the direction, open that possibility, open that door so I can walk into it, so we can still use it. But also at the same time, you have to see where's the incongruence between what I'm saying and what I'm doing. And noticing it's like, where am I out of integrity, basically? Where I'm out of line? I'm not in integrity. I said, I said we were there on time, and then I'm not on time. I said we were there on time, and then I'm not on time. I said I will do this, but then I couldn't do this. What is going on here? What is there? Because there is something there. The reason I'm raising this up, because when you look into your actions, you see that there's something there. There's a specific reason. There's something that you push or resist towards. There's something outside of you. There's something you're afraid of. There's, some, there's always something, right? Because when we're in line, the thing that we say is the thing that we do. It's not really that difficult. And we just do, and we don't often even have to say things. Because we're in congress. We're flowing. There are no obstacles. Things are just easy. When they're not, again, your actions will speak about and point to you to the thing that it needs addressing. There's something that I need to address inside of me in order for me to be able to take those actions. And often, often it will be actually, I don't even need to take those actions. It was just the frame, the court that I needed to play in require that level of of attention. So the goal is not important, but the growth that I'm going to get through this that I already got, I actually don't even need to follow this anymore because I got what I needed. And that's why it's good sometimes to stay the course because it will keep training you and teaching you about yourself. When we turn around and we're like, oh yeah, you know what, actually I'm not going to do that. And, and actually this is causing me too much discomfort because I haven't showed up, man. Like that's not really helping you in any way, shape or form because there is that difference, there's that contrast, and that contrast is pointing to something. And I invite you to look at your life and see whether you're out of line, incongruent, not in alignment, and see where your integrity is broken in your actions to what you say. And then noticing that dynamic, what the gap is, and what does that tell you about you? And it's all about being honest, because it's hard. Oh, you know what, man? I've been honoring fear more than being courageous. I've been actually avoiding being truthful. I actually have been a hypocrite. That's a hard thing to tell to yourself. Oh, I didn't say that because I thought they would get hurt, but actually I'm just hiding my truth. Okay. Your actions speak louder or inaction. Action within action is an action. So when they come together, you can see the contrast, notice the difference. You want some something to play with? Either reflect after this video or look into your life. Look into your life in where did I say I would do something and I'm doing something else? I'm half doing it or I'm avoid from doing it, but I know I should do it for this to happen. Whatever that is. And then ask the next question, what is going on there? What's behind this? What's beneath this? What am I resisting? What am I feeling? What am I thinking? All these things you always want to play with. You want to draw them out. And of course, like when you come into a context that we work together, it's like we take it very slowly and you pick something and you draw it out and you see it for its entirety. And you go all the way to its core and its depth so you can understand things. And then from there, take a new direction, create change, perhaps readjust the things that you're saying. 
or perhaps just readjust the action or scrap it all together. Thank you, my friend, for tuning in to another episode from Inside Treasures. My name is Phoebus, and until next time, my friend, let peace guide your life, let love guide your heart, and reason guide your thoughts.